Hello, uh, this is Mayor Chapman again, a week from my last communication with you. Uh, I'd like to announce that the Village Board unanimously voted in a second phase of our utility relief program. And that second phase is going to try to take in more people that, that could use a little relief during this COVID-19 uh, crisis. Um, what that'll mean is you go to the website again and read what the requirements are, but I can give them to you in a nutshell right now. Uh, if, if you've been laid off due to the COVID virus emergency, get to your employer, whether that be you're a cook at a restaurant or something of that order. And that employer will write a letter that you can submit to the village with that employer's tax ID number on, on the letter. But that employer will attest to the fact that you've been laid off or you've been significantly reduced in, in pay due to the coronavirus. It's that simple. Uh, get that form filled out. It's a very simple form. Send it into the village, and um, it, you'll be notified whether you uh, qualify for that two-month relief package for your utility bill. I hope that, that, that this helps a lot more people in the village who have been affected by this crisis. Now, Something else I'd like to talk about. Uh, the governor has sent out a draft, but tomorrow he should be sending out the signed uh, executive order for this next 30-day period. I know this isn't pleasant. I know that there's many out there who don't agree with this but it is the executive order from the state of Illinois. That's the minimum compliance level. We don't plan in Shorewood to increase any of those levels, but we do plan to try to get people to comply with what he's asking for, whether you agree or not. If you want to go to any blog on, on the internet now, because we've got access to everybody and everybody has access to us, I watch a lot. I look at the total way off to the left side, the total way off to the right side, uh, because that's part of my job to look at all this information coming in. Now, a lot of it's opinions. There's a young lady out there right now that has a blog, makes a great opinion. We're all a bunch of sheep. We're being led to the slaughter. We're being uh, told to go up the hill and, uh, and fall off the cliff. Okay, there's other people that are saying, please behave, do what you're being told to do, okay? And if you don't, uh, many people are gonna die. I mean, it, it's coming in from everywhere. And like I've said a couple of times on my report, these are all opinions. This young lady that did this blog, very intelligent, but she's not an expert on anything. She's an expert on her opinion, just like I am. But I'm not going to give you my opinion. What I am going to state is that there is a bug out there. And it is, it is deadly in some areas. Uh, whether we're overreacting or not is, is subject to an opinion again. It's somebody's opinion. Uh, we have seen some terrible hotspots that have tried to overwhelm the healthcare system. In the city of New York, in, in uh, Detroit, they were having a severe problem. But then, on the other hand, I've got some hell of a deals on some ventilators right now. 
I can get you a deal on 100 ventilators that are sitting in a semi-truck, probably down in Springfield waiting to go somewhere. So none of us are experts. Uh, we're trying to react. We're in a dangerous situation economically. We're in a dangerous situation with, with, the health, with a health problem. We can't just say to ourselves, oh, the hell with a damn thing. Let's just all go back to work at one time because if we're wrong, and if you're wrong, the person that's preaching that, I hope that guilt would, would, would get to you because it should. So all I'm asking is that when the executive order comes out, it's going to be the face mask. I'm going to get a few calls immediately from people who are going to say, I'm not wearing it. I don't care what you say. Okay. That's, that is up to you. This is not an authoritarian state. Go up the down escalator and see how good that, that does for you. Okay? Because that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear a mask anytime I get into having to go shopping or get out to see the doctor or anything like that, and uh, I'm going to comply. I hope that everybody else will in the village of Shorewood. We're doing well. Our numbers are great. Let's keep them that way. It's not that much to ask. Wear the mask, and let's get through this so we can all get back to work. Thanks for listening, and the executive order comes out tomorrow. You can't go into a grocery store. You're not supposed to go into a grocery store without a mask, and the grocery stores are the ones that are going to monitor that and they'll be asking you if you don't have one, don't come in. Don't put our cops in a situation where they're gonna have to be called to every, every store to try to get you to comply. Just please, remember the escalator. Okay, thanks for listening. And I wish you all well, God bless everybody. Let's stay healthy. The village is pretty healthy right now. Let's stay that way. Thanks. Thank you.